Now let's begin the story. H Town's finest. Sixteen Shots Podcast. Yes, it is us. Sixteen Shots Podcast. We have our favorite artist in the building, Miss Naya Band. So while she is eating chicken with her thighs out, are you eating chicken thighs? No, I'm eating chicken wings. The irony would be you eating chicken thighs with your thighs out. It would be. Explain, explain, one, explain to me the baggy no. pants that are cut. I usually see the young thoughts with the tight pants that are cut. Explain to me the difference between the baggy cut pants. Come this down. is what we I like to call more of um, like a young artist that may be a little more risque than other artists. So they're not tight, but they're not loose, and they're definitely exposing skin. Bet, bet. Young James Boogie, Miss Bella says is asking for a passcode. So can you send her one that does not need a passcode? Then we will have three queens on the pod to ask our questions to. Oh my gosh. All right, so. I'm so excited. Okay, I am so. too, because this is the audience, man. This is this is this is the audience. So okay. a lot of so. politicking is gonna be going on on someone's right. behalf here. So whatever, man. So did you find an African print? Hat to put on. Talking about, bro. This is a respect the, respect the game, bro. Respect yeah, I know. It's like it's like oh, uh, Ugandan rockets hat. Respect the game, bro. Just like say, hey, that's a fly. That's a fly Ugandan hat. That's Not before. Honest. That's before Yao Ming was on the team. Uh oh. It's Miss Cleopatra. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. It's it's H Town's favorite African American ballerina. How you doing today? I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm actually in my first days of starting nursing school. So I've been up since five this morning. Nursing school? So you've taken the doula role and you have went to nursing? Well, I'm, I want to be a midwife. I want to be a nurse midwife. So it's I don't really want to be a nurse. It's just a, a means to eventually become a midwife. So it's a way for you to be able to actually deliver babies? Yeah, work in the hospital, hopefully with black women who, you know, we, you and I, we've talked about how we're more likely to die. We have. Well, you know, they, they consider us high risk, so I'm more likely to work with black, black women in the hospital than at home. Eventually, I want to own a birth center, you know, where they can get away from that system that is not for them but for now i gotta work in the system <laughs> so essentially so essentially it would be uh you would have a center where women could come birth instead of going to the normal hospital eventually like the goal so there's a woman named uh jenny josephs in florida and she's opened up two birth centers in florida she calls them easy access birth centers so she doesn't turn anybody away she feels like any like everybody, if you're a crackhead, you're a heroin addict, if you get pregnant, you still want a healthy baby. So if you can't pay, she, she you don't have to worry about that. Like they take all they take care of the Medicare. They handle everything. All you have to worry about is having a healthy baby. And um, the numbers show that she's like lowered so many of the high statistics, like lowered uh, low birth weight, lowered, um, you know, preterm deliveries so yeah i'd love to bring that type of uh, facility to houston bet so i have a question for miss cleopatra uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. no you you stop talking okay. i i knew cleopatra <laughs> before you knew her so question first question <laughs> is this me okay. and you are around the same age yes and right? i feel like you know me but you know young james boogie slightly more intimately yes does he use Beijing or just for men? Because I have more gray hair than him, <laughs> but we all know I'm younger. So, question. Did you, does, does did he, you say Beijing? Does is he that, use is, Beijing or just for men? 
I don't know the uh, maker, the brand, mm-hmm. but he uses something. <laughs> I beg him. I I beg him not to. You know, as much as he gets on me about wearing makeup, like I know, actually, right? He's the he's the he's the hypocrite. I know that. We know that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just glad, Boogie, that I can get that out the way. And my sec- my second question for you, Miss Cleopatra, is: okay. Was I toxic in middle school? Yeah. Huh. I wouldn't know because you never really said anything. You didn't talk enough to be toxic. The only thing toxic about you was the look you gave. You always had a mean mug on, but I you never really talked that much. So you had, you know, I feel like you had what typical middle school black boys have is like the the idea that you need to put on a face that you're hard racist um <laughs> so, <laughs> so fact. Say, that's fact like uh, what you know like i feel like i've heard so many you know newer rappers that are are able and conscious enough to say i wish i didn't have to put on a face and be hard all the time and fake being hard or fake you know I'm so a, I'm a that's what up. I thought. I appreciate you. Some, but see, some of it was because I was from the South Side going to school in the Fourth Ward. So I didn't know them niggas. Fair enough, though. I was kind of I was scared to go to Gregory Lincoln. They were always fighting out there. So I see that's also a, a thing that I feel like young men feel like they have to do as well. I wasn't afraid of the fighting, but it was more or less. I'm from the South Side going to school in the Fourth Ward. It mm-hmm. was more or less of every every side of town was out there. So if you were in a Magnum program, like my main partners, Kendrick, Curtis, mm-hmm. Zach, mm-hmm. Uh, Eric Darrow. Eric was from Fourth Ward along with Zach. But you know. I last names, bro. Nah, these were, I mean, these, these cool I remember partners. the first two people you said. So, so, so Kendrick and Curtis, they was like from the east side. Kendrick. Mm-hmm. I was I was the only person out there from the clock. Like I was by myself. I was on the island outside of outside of James Williams, but he wasn't even from the clock. Homie moved to the clock from from New Orleans. So you mean Justin Williams? No, James Williams. He was a light skinned dude. He uh, came later on, but um, okay, enough of that middle school reunion stuff. Yeah, we got we got all three queens on for some reason. Miss Bella is not showing her face and she has a mic muted. But I gotta quit. I gotta quit. I gotta quit. I gotta quit. Ask I'm your question. Not not showing my face. Why are you not showing your face, man? You have not done what you got going today. on. You know what I'm talking about. I literally just said the video was acting up. Okay, I got a question. I got a question for Aaron and for Cleopatra and for Miss Nye and Miss Lamont. Like. As far as the hard face or being tough or whatever, like, why do you think that we, you know, that's too deep. That's too deep. Let's no, no, the- ask the question, my nigga. We're no, there. No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm ask the question. I have an answer. No, 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 that's that's a different question. That's different. Let's take. We got three queens on here, and we had a ask very- the question, my nigga. Bro, we had a very specific topic, man. To ask the question. Question. Ask, then we'll get to the anal shit. Ask the question. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can go from deep to really deep. Okay, so. <laughs> or, what's, what's the ding? A ding? Come on, bro. That's your I job. Know. I've been drinking, my nigga. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. Um, Aaron, Aaron W., we, we, we have a podcast, right? We talk to people. We try to engage with the audience, but but you always say, "I don't fuck with people." I don't how fuck can, with people, bro. How can we have a podcast? But you know and, that though. But I know I understand that. But I'm saying that how can we have a podcast and you not fuck with people? But I fuck with you, so that's the dynamic of our podcast. I, I you, fuck with you. With you, 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 you yeah. historically. <clears throat> so historically, historically. you. And the king have been the friendly yeah. niggas. Y'all no, stop, please. stop. No, it's no, 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 no. No, I don't. When I say friendly, I ain't saying that you can be tried. I'm okay. saying that right. you two are the. If we're in a room full of a hundred people, yeah, you and the king are gonna move around the room, 
and physically talk to people and make relationships. I'm going to find a corner and I'm going to profile everybody in the room. And I'm going to have an opinion about how they move and I'm going to watch them. And 99% of the time, my, 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 what I find out is true. And I'm sitting in the cut so I can swing on a nigga or shoot at him. So what you're saying? Y'all are politicking. Y'all are the politics. I'm the Secret (laughs) Service. That's what I'm saying. I don't fuck with niggas. If y'all say I should fuck with the nigga, I'm going to fuck with him. But I'm going to tell y'all that nigga ain't real. So what you're saying is that me and the king are open to all and everybody and we want to we want to engulf them and no matter if they're fat tall skinny gay fat whatever we will take them in and talk to them but you in the background saying i'm judging to see how they move and what's 100 percent. my weakness is women i love females i i specifically love tall light-skinned ratchet females slightly toxic <laughs> oh, oh, tall oh, 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 oh. Nice. Light skin, slightly toxic. She just, she just nut on herself right quick. But um, I'm gonna say um, so would you call me judgmental, or would you call me more of a person that that's like, I'm 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 down for anything or anybody. So how me and you move? You 100 yeah. percent are the. You give everybody a chance to hang themselves. So our dynamic. Bro- uh, me, you, the king, specifically that three. Um, you and the king give people the rope to hang themselves with. When I meet someone, I already feel like they're against me, so I'm not surprised when you try to do something bad to me. If that makes sense. And he went away. He's probably changed the clothes again. This nigga has changed shirts six times. That sounds about right. It sounds Actually, about right. What, what you're explaining, though, Aaron, does kind of sound like the face you would be given in homeroom yeah. in middle school. Like, that's kind of what you were doing the whole time. Because <laughs> I've 100% been burnt by enough people where I don't I don't trust anyone. So, JB and, and, and the King give you a chance to prove to them who you are. I already, before I, kn- before, before I get to know you intimately... I feel like you're trying to get me, so I'm already, I already got, I already got a wall up. So, sounds yeah. very sh- kind of stressful way to live, or not so, not so peaceful. It works for me. That's why I walk around with a gun every day of my life. I okay. feel like I, I never I, tried to ruin you with a smile though. Lee with a who? Like just because I do the same thing, but no one knows I'm doing it. So I've been told I have the smile, but I'll cut you face, I'll, which I do. I'm successful at it. I, I want, smile, I nod my head, but I'm never talking. The other, so people, I look friendly, but I'm definitely sizing up like, okay, this bitch might beat me up. No, she won't. He looks like this or whatever. Like I'm surveying the room. I'm in the corner, which is hard to do. I'm six feet tall. So I have to like I really go to the corner because... If I stand in the middle, I'm gonna stand out like a sore thumb. So I'll move to the back and I just watch. But I watch with a smile. So that way yeah. no one knows that they could get beat up. The other so- piece is the other piece is I don't I I want you to know I don't want to talk to you. I be people think I'd be ah! upset. People think I'd be upset. Man, I'd be having the best day ever in life. I just do not want to talk to you niggas. So, females, I, however, I I want to talk to you. Niggas, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> okay. So if you if you want to like rob or kill me, the best way is to send a uh, six foot young lady towards my way. Now I, I'm 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 gonna say two things. And you changed your clothes. You changed in the background. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga been doing this all night. Look. I'm a carry ass over there. <laughs> So, um, I'm so amused. Hey, let's go. Let's get into the anal shit. Let's go. <laughs> question first. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, um, dang, you throw th- th- me off. Okay, so, um, God, Leah, didn't we talk about this player shirt though? You like, you like, you like it, or you don't like it. 
We already talked about the plaid shirt, my nigga. Okay. He brought it back. The same one. The difference is he's done something where he doesn't look as old as he looked the other night. I don't look old. I look old? You looked old oh, that no, one no, night. No, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, no, we I talked know. about this. Yes, hold on, definitely. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. But so, you are the oldest person on the screen right now. Let's just get it straight. That's cool. So By like five <laughs> years. Okay, cool. Hold Whatever. On. Whatever you want to say. Um, <laughs> Miss, um, Miss Nye. You're six feet tall. Am I yes. am I am I four inches taller than you? You're definitely four inches taller than me. Stop so, it. Stop it, Miss Nye. He is not four inches taller than you. I, he was taller than me and I was standing on top of a, a step. This thing and he is was six two and a half at the most. Oh I'm, I'm six feet tall. Straight and by the way, up. and I, I was standing I wanna, on the step and I still had to look up. And by the way, Thank I want to let Miss Bella know. I heard, I heard you say that I'm barely six feet, my nigga. I'm six one, okay? Um, you're not, <laughs> my nigga. I'm like taller than the average <laughs> niggas. I'm six uh, one, okay? Uh, I want to appreciate your slander, uh, Cleo. How, am I tall? Do you remember me being tall in middle school? Everyone's tall to me. I'm five two, so I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. Like I said, Miss Bella. All right. Like, I heard I heard your podcast, okay? I heard you say <laughs> I heard I heard when my, secret, when my like I didn't say it in secret. No, no, no. When my man said that he was a part of a rap group Barely. and everybody was tall, I heard to look comment trying to make it seem like I was short. You know what I'm saying? I might be the shortest nigga in the group, but I'm six one ish. You were so that was a true statement. I'm a six one ish. And if you look at the scouting you report, were, the scouting report said like, in college. <laughs> I was 6'2", 310. Now, I was not 310. I was a... Oh, well, they lied. I was a good 250, but still. Okay? I was definitely... They absolutely lied, because you are not 6'2". I'm 6'1", all right? You barely 6'2". Who saw you on? Okay. Maybe when you sleep. How tall are you? Okay. I'm 5'4"-ish, 5'5". I'm 6'1", to you, nigga. Okay? But you're really not. Jesus. <laughs> right. Okay. It'd be your own people. Very, bro. Very own. <laughs> Let's get to the meat. Let's get to the meat. Let's Wait. Let's get to the what meat. What is going on on your screen? Hold on. Hold on JB. Hold on. Like what, what is this? Tiger King. Tiger you King. know JB Loki a cross dresser. Did you know that, Cleo? You know he likes to dress up in <laughs> female's clothes. Has he tried on any No, actually. <laughs> very okay. much not of that lifestyle. He okay. back. To He's the not. subject that we're talking about. So, I, we, me and Aaron were talking about anal, right? We were. And so, how... I, I want... I'm, we, we're going to go in the order that y'all clocked in. Miss Nye, then Miss Cleo, then Miss Luanda. How... Miss Bella. Miss Bella. But I like heard it. you on the podcast, bro. You good for calling out <laughs> people's names, bro. Hey, man, look, man. I'm on the feds. Um, so... Tell us how the person who first performed anal presented it to you. <laughs> who came up with this question? Oh, it was book, man. Like, um, man. <laughs> presented it to you like you didn't know about it or or just like was like, hey, let's do this. Oh, you trying to find out what was the ploy that you used to stick your your, your dick in her asshole? Basically. Okay. I got to hear this one. Well, I'll say, oh, sorry. Now nah, you're first. Okay. Well, sheesh. Um, <laughs> it was not a nice, a nice way. It was very, um, very nigga-ish. <laughs> in the middle of already being in the act, it was one of those whispers. Hey, let me stick it in your booty. Wait, huh? We didn't talk about that. Oh, he just did it. <laughs> you got Like up, I wasn't prepared. So from that moment, yeah. Oh, he just like shoved it in there. No, like try to, but you know, I have strong ass muscles. Just got strong ass muscles. Clenched them, and I was like, whoa, whoa. Hold on. <laughs> so, yeah, that was like a, it was a slow, 
discussion. I was not prepared for that. If you change your shirt one more time. This is what, you know? so, what is going on with the what do we need to did I need to bring some Are we doing a fashion show? This is this is, this is I, I just want y'all to know this is this is shirt change number seven, by the way. No, seven. Actually. Just y'all focus on. So no, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for that and it ended See, quickly. There was a conversation that was had. There was um uh uh we went out and bought lubricant. It was weird because it was warming lubricant. It was weird. Wait, is this you telling us your story, Aaron? I'm just inter interjecting as we go because unlike Young James Boogie, me being the married man on the pod, I risk my relationship every other day for <laughs> for content while he doesn't say anything Ms. Cleo he tries to protect his political connects so you know I'll be out here risking the whole relationship for content and this nigga well, be well supposedly he's the single man of the podcast so speak on the queen you know what I'm talking about me and you go back before him speak on the queen how you feel about that you know look I I, I, I don't know how single he is you know what I'm talking about Cleo oh, we're talking about anal. go ahead Boy. We all talk about anal. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that wasn't how I was expecting the anal question to go, but um, it was never proposed to me. To be honest with you, to me, anal is when it's like a alternate route when the main route is out of commission for whatever reason. So. You know, it was more like, oh, uh, for whatever reason, hey, well, that's that's open. Maybe let's, you know, like more of a, a co-authored idea versus someone else suggesting it. I'm not a fan of it. I'll stop you guys. Go ahead. But for the listeners, uh, Miss Nye is six foot tall, uh, a six foot tall mega stallion uh, uh, um, duplicate. Miss Cleopatra is five foot. I don't think you say duplicate. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you say duplicate. Man, I have my own baby hairs. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the, the, the body frame. Plus, type. she probably yeah. a blood. You a blood or a crip? Because you from LA. You from Compton. No, she's not okay, one. Okay, she just okay. threw a third one up. She don't know what she's talking about. I'm just saying that we have three different women of three different body shapes. So it's not. It's 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 totally different physically from these three women. That's all I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> That is a mean thing about the experience. I'm like, what? Are, what are you saying? What is what? I'm what? That all your assholes are different sizes. That's what I'm trying to say. But we're but talking about know. the experience of how they first are introduced to it, though. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, if I see a girl who's like, it doesn't matter girl. how tall, skinny, short, whatever. It's it's about the experience of how they were introduced to it. I mean, yeah, but it does, it, this, it's it's the same thing if we said you know talk about talk about the first time you got hit. It doesn't matter what you know how tall she was. <laughs> Right. Yeah. You talk about the height. What's the first time you got here? I don't think any of our heights have to do anything with Say it again. The... What's the first time you got here, Miss Bella? The last time I getting hit right now was the That's the stupid ass AC at this bitch ass rent house I'm renting, but it's okay. I'm buying a house. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. But yeah, Miss Bella, when's the first time that but tell us about your first time um being introduced or Talk, talked in or talked with about anal? Um, oh, geez, that was so long ago. Um, I think it was a conversation. Like, cause so there long was some, ago, how long ago was it? Uh, well, shit, long ago. Long ago. The first time, like long ago. Like 30s long ago, 20s long ago. Teens oh. long ago. <laughs> See, now you're in my business. Of course I'm in your business. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I probably was uh, 16, 17, probably. You know I'm doing math right now, right? <laughs> what? You know I'm doing math right now, right? <laughs> you can do whatever math you want to do. Probably <laughs> <laughs> 17 ish. One of those one of those. What? Ages. 17? Probably seventeen. Yeah. One day we're gonna have the conversation. Never mind. I mean, it was a conversation. Like, hey, let's let's try. It, it, we, it was like, let's try it. Okay, and you know, get the lube and all that. You know, it was. Did you get warming lube? 
No. Nah, if you said you were 17, that technology went out then. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was out. It just we just didn't use it. No, it wasn't. It went out then. Yes, it was. Nah, it was not out then. It Young James Boogie, out. when you was a senior in high school, that means you were like a sophomore in high school. Was warming lube out then? Might have been, but I didn't know about it. Why the fuck were you was. going to these Miami sweat I'm shirt shirts on? It was. No, it wasn't, what? my nigga. What is happening? This nigga changed the shirt every five minutes. What the shirt in the background change? It's, it's like a five minute rule. Right. I'm talking about, we should be part of, man. This nigga needs a young lady to teach him style. <clears throat> That's I'm all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, it was. I mean, it wasn't a, a horrible experience. It's not my favorite act. I'll say. Getting head. It's not your favorite act. No, I thought we were talking about anal. No, anal was. Oh, we went back to that. I was like, what? Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you young ladies fans of Queenie? Mm-hmm. Or face sitting? Are you young ladies fans of that? I don't want to sit. I want to lay down and relax. Gotcha, she, gotcha, gotcha. She wants to sit down and relax. Because what? <laughs> speak up. Speak a little clearly, bro. What'd you say? <laughs> it's not how do you feel. What are you saying? No, I didn't say anything. Is no, 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 no. You Speak up, my nigga. He's you always lie about everything else. I'm trying to read volume up. What are you whispering? Yeah, stop whispering. I'm a nigga. The married nigga can't be the person taking his pod to the next level. I'm, I'm letting right. you know that now. I had COVID, so, you know. I'm out here risking it all. No, I'm out here risking it all. Flirting with Miss Nye. Flirting with Miss Bella. You got to risk it at some point, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Stop whispering. Stop whispering, <laughs> my nigga. What would you have to say, bro? No, what I was saying was that um I was gonna go back to Miss uh in the same rotation that we had earlier. Miss uh, said, but anyway. This, Cleo, this nigga's full of shit. <laughs> He's full of shit. How many Williams on this show right now? Uh two. two. Number you. Two. Oh. Um what I'm gonna say? Oh, oh, you oh, from oh. Houston, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, wait, can I ask a question? Yes, yeah. ma'am. You can ask so, whatever you want. If, if guys put their penises in girls' buttholes, you guys have buttholes, too. And your Ooh. butthole is where your G-spot is. Ooh! Miss Cleo, you <laughs> are, are, very are you open to allowing us <laughs> JB to <laughs> your <laughs> anus why do you clinch it up you and I both have very tight butt muscles right well, no getting somewhere you know Miss Cleo I've, I've, I've heard that young James Boogie is, is open to being pegged Oh, no. you get pegged? No, he is not. Oh, He's very okay. anti, anti even grazing. I don't know. So if you, if you know graze it. the booty, he's gonna. Yes, and he's got so much booty. His he's got like you know many what, Book? You have, day. Book, you have been telling us about how much ass you have, bro. <laughs> like, like. And if I'm like caressing the booty, he feels like I'm sunning him. Like that's what a guy's supposed to do to a female. But if you got booty, I want to touch it. But you're not allowing the the young ladies to touch the cheeks. If a man has a nice ass, it should be exactly well. Exactly. Can I? Can I? Book. You're not letting the young ladies touch your ass cheeks, bro. No, I'm not. Can I talk? Very bro? selfish with it. Very that selfish. is so selfish because I bet he wants to grab yours. Of course he, he does. does. So oh, why can't I'm she grab, grab why can't she grab back? Why he's very she, hypocritical, as Dub said earlier. Very he's, hypocritical. He's a hypocrite. Definitely but hypocritical. Why are you not letting your young lady friends grab your ass cheeks? Can I talk? Can I, can Especially I talk? if it has a little cuff. We want a cuff too. I don't know about it's, your cuff, but I'm being told you have cuff. And you told us, the- you told, you, I don't know why you told me, but you've made it clear to me that you got cheeks. I don't know why. I just yeah. accept you as my brother. <laughs> I don't judge you. So why are you not letting young ladies uh, have fun with your cheeks? 
Okay, can I speak now? Am I am I? The floor I, is open to you. Okay, so, um, well, I, well, um, um, I know me, Miss Nye, and Mister Dub have the conversation before. I don't know about Miss. I think Miss Bella as well. Miss Cleopatra. I don't know. Miss Cleopatra knows. Can I finish talking? He knows. Is you quick, quick, hold up. See, I don't like that now. I don't like that. I don't like what you're doing right now. Um, right now, this is the best conversation we've had. Don't you agree with me, Adub? I do. This because, is the first time oh, we're getting Miss this. Nye, he cannot bullshit us right now. He oh, cannot, no. and I'm happy because this yeah. is being he's been dying. He's been Cleo for the for for the record. He's been oh. bullshitting us for like a month. Oh. I know. I know how he is. He's very uh, close to the cuff with anything God. that's about him. And he, he, he changes has been, subjects the same have, way he changes his clothes. Yeah. All the tea, so. all and, the and, 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 and for the record, Miss Cleo, he has been neglecting us the opportunity to talk with you. Yes, now, he has. That, did you see how, how he pivoted false. earlier when I we were false. talking about the singledom and all yeah he, I know how he pivoted. He so, you. Full disclosure, Miss Cleo, my job on this pod is to Thank find you. young James Boogie Love. Now I know where he should be. Where should I be? But for whatever the reason is, he is is fighting that position. You know what? Stop fighting it. He's fighting it. But now that you're on the pod, we can have a real conversation. And you know, you know where he should be. He should be there with you, letting you play with his ass cheeks. Letting you cuff his little cheeks. Be playing with his cheeks. cheeks. My little cheeks. Cuffing the cheeks. I don't know how big or small they are. I just know you should be cuffing them. If he wants to cuff your cheeks. He can. You should be able to. Cuff I him. even enjoy a double cup, Miss Cleo. Don't you? The double cup. Like if I'm gonna cut, if you're gonna cut mine. I want to cut yours at the uh, same time. We are so, together. Like I, I can't stop myself from wanting to squeeze and grab it because mm-hmm. it, it's so amazing. But I'll say this: like the chemistry is has never been an issue with us right we're very attracted to each other is once you um, want to get serious mentally, he probably starts to be full of shit How, however dub you know what you what you guys have on here how y'all go back and forth and mm-hmm. y'all argue with each other or uh what's the word uh not argue well that's also us <laughs> there there is a so i love so let me let me put this out here i love young james boogie in a non-gay way. If <laughs> someone if someone tries to harm young James Boogie, that's not true. I will that, shoot first. You gotta punch me in the face. No. Well, that was your fault, my nigga. That was your fault. Okay. <laughs> but no, in real life. in real life, he got punched in the face, but it was by somebody in our circle. So you I, know I've heard that story. <laughs> and it was his fault. Like he no. stole his hat. <laughs> You no, know, Jay's still in the hat. What I'm saying is, if someone harms Young James Boogie, I'm shooting first, and while we're in the holding tank, I will ask Book, why did I shoot somebody? Right. With that being said, um, my partner's full of shit, but I know that he dodges. Once the situation gets too serious, he gets scared, and he tries to run. But, oh, that's not our issue, though. Oh, that's not our issue. What's your issue? To be, Tell to me. Be, to be honest, right now, I told you I started nursing school. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a one year. Be quiet. Be, quiet. be honest right now. Be quiet. Be quiet. Time to be honest. My nigga, you, it is the time what? to be honest. Do you have on a, 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 you have on a suit jacket with no shirt? Now, sir? Is he a news anchor? Like, what is happening? What is going on? You <laughs> <laughs> look like it. The third ward news anchor. He's not a third ward <laughs> news anchor. That nigga is a Ugandan news news anchor. I got family from the train. They don't look like that. Well, first off, what happened was uh, Pookie came out here and he was talking to Shalanda. <laughs> for, sure, for sure. For you sure. No. Know what? Hey, Miss Cleo, speak your truth. I'm gonna go. Get oh, some I'm just saying. So right now, about anal. What are you? What? How are we talking about anal? That's what we're talking about. And how we dub like <laughs> how talk to y'all to make the shit work shit. Dub didn't Wait, he, did he turn dub off? <laughs> exactly. No, I ain't turning dub, dub, dub off. 
but Dove didn't got y'all some other things. So what, we, what we're talking about is basically, let me tell you my side of the story because I, I didn't even got a chance to say me. Y'all talked about, I was saying that my biggest issue or my biggest fear about anal is having doo-doo come out. That's the only, that's like, <laughs> There's ways around that. There's, there's, there's ways around like what I'm saying is like there's four things you never want to have in life. You don't want to get stabbed. You don't want to get shot. You don't want to get you know uh, beat up. You don't want to have doo doo on you. And those are some of the that's like one of the core things in life you never want to have. Beat up. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, those four things you don't want to happen in your yeah. life. Doodle. <laughs> There's other things that we can name, but okay. That's like the top ten of these, right? And so, without, you know, this is not a. I'm not trying to say anything about myself. But I'm saying like, with any man, like you can't put a quarter in a dime size hole. You know, actually, you it expands. Yeah. So does uh. Yeah, and yeah, it expands, but you there. That, that that's a process. There you okay. go. And, <laughs> and and there's that process is called sex. There's also <laughs> a chance of doo doo coming out, right? Devon, oh, Jamie, you call my my government name in front of. I'm him. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lapel, yeah. right? That means I'm serious right now. I got a lapel. This is, this is, this is professional environment. We can't use. We gotta. This is. I have so, to, to get fitted. Your that. fear is that doo doo is gonna come out of the woman. Yeah, it wouldn't come out of me. Why not? So you telling me I'm gonna put my thing in your booty and do it come out of me? That's crazy. Maybe. No, she's saying. I, I think she wants to know why you don't want to be probed anally. Oh, oh. Oh, well, that's not what I was saying, but that too. Oh, I don't. I don't okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so to, for in all honesty and forwardness, like, I don't, I don't want to be penetrated. Like, I guess, like, some women don't want to have their toes licked. Not that they're, they're not not that they're bad women or this is something they don't like. And I don't that's something that I don't have to, to feel it to know. And also I don't want to have that feeling become something that's normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, you don't want it to feel good. Right. You like it. Right. You, you don't want to find out that exactly. you like it. Even if I did like it, I wouldn't. I like now because there's no point in my life when I want to put my legs up and be like, "Okay, your turn." Stop it, nigga. You lying. <laughs> I don't even know what was said, nigga. I went and got ice, but you lying. <laughs> but Cleo, you're you're never come back on the show ever. Miss <laughs> Cleo, let me tell you something. One hundred. I'm way too honest for this show. Dub no. Dub will invite me. Let me tell you That's something. That's okay. Cleo, you're coming back. Matter of fact, <laughs> on some real shit. Nope. Good time. On some real shit, Cleo. The female finally is gonna be on the podcast next pod. She ain't been. That's what I'm saying. You've been We're on the podcast. You mean huh? your wife? The female, yes. The wife, the female. She's gonna be on the pod next podcast. Okay. And you can come back. And you can tell Miss oh. Naya, you can come too. Bella, you can't come. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Tell no, you can't come. <laughs> I, I didn't even do nothing. You did not do anything, but you can't come. Um, see, you always pulling me into your bullshit. Bella, why what? Is, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Why are your titties at Bella? The titties are out on that picture. I like that picture, like at least two, two times. Matter of fact. I didn't like it at all. Why your titties out? You didn't like it at all? Why? The titties out. You got to like titties out. She was in Colorado. I was. I was in Colorado. Damn. I knew where you was. Freezing. I was freezing. So why you take take the picture if you was freezing? Because I wanted the picture. You you do things when you want the picture to be right. I was freezing. I've been been drinking. (laughs) Were your nipples hard? I mean, hold on. No, I was freezing. (laughs) I said, were your nipples hard? No. If you were freezing, they definitely were. Bro, I Everybody's nipples don't get hard when they get cold. But yours do. 
Dub, let me. You would never know. They don't. Let me be huh? with you. Dub, dub. Exactly. Let... You would know that how? I'm just, do, just using my scientific yeah. method. Yeah. Okay. I'm using my carry scientific on, method. Carry on. Out of yeah. all the young ladies that I've known in my life, I would assume yours would if they're cold. I mean, it's not yet. When you're cold, you know what's going on. Thank you. I don't know. Miss Cleo. <laughs> well, I've never gauged. I've never. Right. Never it's know. like sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. It yeah, just, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. It's not consistent. Well, Ms. Should there be consistency? It should. It, well, well, I will say this. <clears throat> Someone needs to do a scientific, um, 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 what is it called? Experiment to see sure. if they get hard when you're, when, when you're, when you know cold. what though? I think, I think in all fairness, I probably don't pay attention because then there's the factor that if it's freezing cold, I have on a bra. I'm not always outside braless. So right. I'm not. I'm I not think, experiencing that coldness on my nipples. That might be the warmest place on my body. I think I think for it. scientific purposes, when I come pick my painting up, you should put the AC on 60 <laughs> and we should see <laughs> we should see if they're hard when it's cold. Okay. Me so, too, me too. Move it. So, so three, thing, three things. One, one, I think it would be really cool if Miss Cleopatra and Miss Nye got together i I know miss cleopatra's time is kind of funny right now but she's the artist and you're a ballerina and i'm sure and i I think that that's a great to do a ballerina painting that would be beautiful yeah Yeah. it will be fire and then y'all can also see if if young james boogie (laughs) Uh, if we can probe probe jay exactly (laughs) Like no, <laughs> and then okay for science so, for science, my my nigga for science for um, science we just want to try it out. Okay, we had a whole <laughs> about science in school earlier that they all missed. Okay, and, and then secondly, I'm gonna say what's weird to me is I feel like I feel like Miss Cleopatra has the biggest boobs out of all these women on this pod right now, and she's the smallest. That's what they used to tell me at the Houston Ballet when I have to go try on the tutus. They'd say, you're the smallest sp- one, I, but you I, have the biggest boobs. Am I allowed to speak on this? On what? Having big boobs? Am I allowed to speak on this, JB? I don't know what, what you're doing right now. Are you showing your boobs? I don't know what <laughs> like, you're doing right now. My God! I don't, know what, you're doing. I don't know what you're doing right now. I want to make sure I'm respectful. So am I allowed to come at JB? That's what you got to say, King. So I feel like <clears throat> for your frame, and I'm saying this with all respect, mm-hmm. they, they they are kind of, you know, unexpectedly large for your frame. I mean, well, I think even on a bigger frame, they're like. And that's what I'm saying. It's unexpected. What's their size? Because you're slim, that? you're slim, I'm and like you're a, a ballerina, and it's like a oh. 30, a thirty around the waist, and like a double D, or sometimes like like a E. Well, yes. I yes. saw. I've seen pictures, and I was like, oh, that's surprising. Who's showing you pictures? Uh uh. You have pictures. pictures of no, like, like the pictures body. you you place yourself. Like I saw like a fake. Thingy, you were doing like you were pregnant and you were posing oh, in these ballerina oh. poses, and you know. I guess so in the leotard, in the leotard, yeah. So, but, I know. guess Respect. that doesn't give the full, but yeah, they're respectfully though. I'm just being respectful. Like, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> are they heavy? Like, are they heavy? I've always, I've never had big boobs. Are they heavy? Like, where they hurt? My, I have a younger sister. She is only five. I think she's five four, but she had to get a reduction. That's how big hers were. That's blasphemy. Yeah. Why are you and getting she was a reduction? Tiny, like size four, size two. They're with flat. Really big they're jugs. flat. They're like, flat right. chested. They're flat chested white women paying I, for this. No, they're not heavy. Only time they're heavy is if I'm not wearing a bar, bra and I'm running. But I think that's most women. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's kind yeah. of yeah. now that I think about it, I'm like a freak of nature because they're big. But I did, I still did ballet on point and never felt like top heavy or felt like I needed yeah, a reduction. Really Cleo, you want to know something extremely funny? What's I was, that? I was working out one day at Blue Fitness, 
in East okay. Downtown. And mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I have a drone. I like to do photography. I know. After I got through working out, I flew my drone. Mm-hmm. And you know, I flew it down the street, and just so happens it was this like hip hop kind of like festival going on. Travis Scott's the, little bullshit the, ass the hip-hop thing was there. Flea market. Hip-hop exactly, flea market. and so I did like a flyover, and then I looked on my on my social medias, and you were like doing some hip hop dancing there. So I love to house dance. Really, is what it is like house music. Um, I don't know if y'all know who K. K Trinata is. He's like my favorite artist out there right now. Um, but I've I've been doing that since I was 15, 16. That's back when JB had hair. Um, I still have hair. I, I still have hair, by the way. <laughs> Matter of fact, it, the only reason why I'm ev- I even have bald spots is because I had dreads, but you know. So, man, is that gonna happen? Oh no! No, th- don't do what I did. So the only reason why my hair was thinning at the top is because I was going to this young lady in third ward. She was tightening my dreads too tight. Okay. And, um, so if you get them too tight, it can it, it can strain your hair. So yeah. Man. Okay, trying not to do them too tight then. I ain't want to be oh. a bald head the whole like JB, so that's why I cut my hair. Oh no! I don't think Miss Bella was a fan of it. I was not. <laughs> like, like I ran up on her one day with my braid, with my dreads, and she kind of gave me the side eye. So I did. Oh, no, I think the look you have now, Dub, looks really good on you, and I think that your that's salt and pepper mm-hmm. like fits you so well, and you got good skin. I try you, to. You know, I drink, uh, I drink spa yeah. water because I'm bougie. Cucumber, lemon, alkaline water. I let okay. that shit, you know, marinate for, you know, a couple of hours. <laughs> I sip that shit, you know what I'm saying? You got a whole water concoction for the skin. Yeah, man. I drink coconut water as well. What's um, up, the electrolytes? Get your electrolytes, your potassium. Bit, you know, plus I'm black and Cuban, so, you know, that work out too. Oh, I didn't know you were Cuban. I'm not Cuban. I just be making this shit up. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm black and Cuban, so it works. Uh, I lived in New York, so it's kind of to blunt. JB, what are you doing? Man. At this point, this is literally like the tin shirt this dude has had on. And if you're gonna be a hater, say I'm a hater. You because you are hateable. If you you're gonna be a hater, if you are like, Great so poet. you know why he showed that last photo of us back in the day. He showed he tries to shame me. So Boog's Boog's <laughs> sole goal in life is to shame me for some reason. I don't know huh. why. What do you say? What do you say? Every single time he, he tries to shame me. He I don't care, bro. I'll tell my truth, my nigga. Did y'all get to the to the root of the of the anal play? No, it didn't. They, the root they, of it. They danced around the shit for 20 minutes. Man. Look, man, I've never, like, I just be scared. Of, I, I'm scared to hurt myself. I'm hurt. I'm scared to hurt the woman I'm with. I'm like, man. But no, you're okay with hurting the woman you're with. Go back no, to the I'm scared to hurt myself I'm, part. I'm definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I mean it like. Speak your truth, queen. Me the hell you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're, you're not going to say <laughs> no to anal sex with a woman, but you will say no to anal sex on yourself. Yeah. Why, book? Let's unpack this. Why? Because, I, because okay, it's, let, let's start with the very first Let me, let me ask a, a real question. Will you allow a young lady to eat your ass? No. Ooh. Why not? If that's what she's into, you, you, you're opposed to her sticking her tongue in your asshole. Yeah, because it's not for me. She can do it with somebody else. I, it's nothing wrong with her. It's not a bad thing for let's her. Say, let's say, let's say, you me. and Miss Miss Cleo got married, and she was like, "Hey, I would love to stick my one tongue. thing I'm my missing in my in life. I would love to stick my tongue in your ass." What do you tell her? I would say, "Look, maybe once every year." Maybe we're getting closer. I guess like, you're but, getting closer. So why do you why why are you so opposed to it? Do you feel like it's gay? No, no, no. I just don't want like that's, I'm 
That's just not my thing. Like, do you He's like, politicking union, isn't he? I don't know. No, no. Okay, I'm gonna call you. Since you want to talk, Miss Nye, since you want to open your motherfucking mouth, I'm gonna come to you, Miss Nye. I'm sure there are things that you don't want a guy to do to you. The things you like. You yeah, know, but the, like, it's not going to be the death of me. Like, yeah, you might. I you- mean, how can I say this? Let me take that back. If if it's something that I don't want done. You ain't gonna do it. It's going to be. It has to be so extreme. Um, What's your extreme? Your tongue in my butt is not the most extreme thing that I'm gonna say. I no like to. where we're going. Starting with Miss Nye, then we'll go to Miss Bella, then we we'll go oh. to Cleo. What's okay, a hard start, no for you? Oh, let me start with Miss Nye. Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Though before we do that, because on this topic, he's not being honest about what it is about it that that. He doesn't want. Me, and let me give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example. Tell your truth. So, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. When I'm in the car, when we're riding in the car, I want to touch my my guy, right? Specifically, I like to put my hand on the back of his neck. You know, JB has like these special roles <laughs> that I love touching. I don't understand what I love. <laughs> and he hates. He feels like I'm sunning him. He'll be all like, "Stop sunning me." Like, nigga, I'm not sucking you. I'm being oh. affectionate. So, like, doing anything to his butt is like sunning him. It's like he's the yeah. woman. You're not letting he's you're not letting respect. your female touch your neck, my guy. No, oh, that, that's not that's not true. He does he does have like he, he does have like fat man rolls on the back of his neck, but he's skinny. Oh, they are so soft though. I love them. Hold They're hold my on. favorite. Part. I love them. Oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> And it won't let her. It, she cannot enjoy this experience. No. Yo, why are you like, depriving no. this young lady of these things, bro? I'm not dub. What's up? Okay, so this you do, is, you do yes. have like fat man, fat man rolls on the back. You, it's weird. You're skinny, but you have fat man rolls on the back. Exactly. Of your neck. How did you know? Man, that? you're never gonna get to the butthole if he won't even let you touch. Like the you rolls have, like you know how, like some of the fat niggas have the pack of wieners I'm thing. About once a year, I'm Yours like, is that's like a two lot. Two of them. <laughs> how long? Exactly. How long? Because when you had braids, it would like the braids would stop here, but then <laughs> above them? it would stop above the rolls. I noticed that. Yeah. That's well, horrible. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> How many, how many? Look, look. Uh, what I'm saying is, this, this is very, this is very deep. Because how many times in life did I know? I've never looked at the back of my neck in my life. I've never been like, I'm back of my neck. But you know it's there though, because you won't allow her. You will not allow Miss Cleo to touch them. So you know it's there. No, we all that. know. We all know. Let's keep it a buck. As, as we all know, where our quote unquote flaws are that we don't like. Everybody on the screen has it's flaws that they don't. Flaw, like. Oh, it's the greatest part of his body. It's the greatest part? Oh. <laughs> so it's not. It's the second. It's this the third greatest part. Because <laughs> you know, Miss Cleo, you know, Young James Boogie on this podcast <laughs> will oh. not let a pod go by without telling us how much of a Mandingo warrior he is. Never, never escapes. It's. it's I don't need to know that. Okay. He, he holds up his shoe for the ladies. He, there exactly. it is. There's that, the shoe. He will do that. The 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 length is is. Uh, again, I don't need to know. That's between you and him. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't need to know at all. Okay. It's none of my business. You know, I, all I will say is he has opportunities to let others know since he's single. But you know, to let to give you some security, he always falls and, always. and gets scared. So maybe I he's faithful to you. I get scared. You or definitely just, get scared. No, or I'd be like, man, it's not really that's what's important about a relationship. Uh, so let me ask you a question. Why put your measurements out there if you're not going to follow through? Bro, I'm potting, bro. We're potting. We're trying to we're trying to take to the next level, man. How come you you can put it to the next level, but I can't put it to the next level? I'll I be risking know. it all out here, bro. I'll be flirting every female to come on this pod. How come I can't risk it all for a pod? Because <laughs> you don't be flirting. You take it you you take it further than than flirting. Like you oh, down do? to be asking, like drop your location. I'm gonna come give you my 48 inch meat. Did, did I say I have? 
I never said any of that. Look, why, why are your eyes big, Miss Leo? Why? Well, baby, I was dropping. Yo, I'm letting what? y'all know what right now. I'm letting oh. y'all know right now. The moment I have. I remember, I remember the three inch. And I was... Oh, he only did. I see, Miss. Let me tell you something about that. With about the three inch thing, Miss Nye. The only reason why that was a thing, because I sat back and I listened to our lovely young ladies who have a podcast that I have helped put on on, on Apple Podcasts, the Let's Talk About It Young Ladies. See, that came about on their podcast because he he has been <clears throat> um telling his meat measurements <laughs> and um he he was trying to be funny, so he said three inch meat three on the inches. pod. That's why he was doing that. By the time me and you got on the pod with him, he was drunk. So <laughs> normally he tells us he's a Mandingo warrior, wears a size thirteen, all of that shit. He hypes the young ladies up. You know what I'm saying? That's his thing. You know he. Like come um, back makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Let me tell you about your dub, right? Oh, I'm 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 petty. I'm toxic. I'm battery pack man. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna make a mockery of of JB when I have a chance. The moment the female hopping on his pod, I ain't saying shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was waiting to see what the new shirt was gonna be. So excited. Let me tell you about a dub. So a dub. Well, time out, time out, time out, time out. I thought we were asking the young ladies about the hard nose for them. So Miss Nye, what's the hard no for you? Nice try, brother. But no, <laughs> what you trying to do is what, what, what you what you do is you try to you know push me into a corner where I can't like you know you try to like paint the picture. You're a narr- I told you you're a narrative switcher. No, you are a on some real shit. Young James Boogie is one hundred percent a stand up guy, and your young lady is on the screen. You probably should you know Ladies. make that happen. Your young lady. I said young lady. I don't have any young ladies. I'm single, man. But, am I, Miss Cleo? Am I single? He is technically single. Technically, as my as nigga. Technically, you are. Technically, will get let you me. in more trouble. Than <laughs> exactly. Being like, you know what? I'm taking. Let, hold on, mm-hmm. time out, time out. Let me ask a question. Uh, Miss Nye, is Young James Boogie for you? No. Miss Bella, is Young James Boogie for you? Well, I'm technically married, so thank you. That's all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean technically <laughs> married? Tell me, how does that work? No. <laughs> whoa, what you mean technically <laughs> married? Yes. What you mean technically married? Ask me. I'm, I'm ask me. Married. Ask me. I was only joking. I, you know, I'm married. No, uh, I don't know anything, man. I'm I don't want to have that narrative thrown out there. I don't know anything. I'm, you know, fucking well, I'm married. I don't know anything. I'm, why I'm just know? Why dumb. Know? Huh? You said, how do he know? I said, why does he know more than anybody else? What you mean? Why do I? Cause you what? I what you mean? Why what? do I know more than anything else? Me and Miss Bella what? are well, one hundred. We partners. We friends. What do you mean? Hmm? Huh? 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 What? Huh? what? Huh? Huh? What? what? Man, woo. That don't work with us, <laughs> what bro. Is, what? I don't know what he got going on. What? I, I don't know. know. I, don't, I don't know what his situation this is. This nigga's delusional. You got COVID again, bro? Y'all went from... He, y'all, y'all, he y'all must went, do. He got y'all to. Went, y'all went from saying That's words... We went to y'all, what? What? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Whatever you're trying to insinuate is is not gonna work it's with not. us. It's, it's, it's just not. We've been married for years, bro. What are you talking not, about? Not not so we. Weird. Like we've not no, been married. No, we not together, but we separately right. in our own Cause, relationships. Right? Because you got I'm over here, yeah, and I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I've let it be known. See, I am, right? Because see, see, he making it sound like it's something that is not like, light wait. skin, six foot. If anything, I'm, if, if anything, I'm cheating with Miss Knight, so hey. and I'm not cheating at all. Exactly, we're but, not cheating. Well, we're not, but if I would, it would definitely be with you because you're six foot. So <laughs> okay, taller than Ada, by the way. Just so you, just you what? Miss Knight is taller than you, bro. Uh, that's bro. That means that if she's <clears> six foot, she probably is. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. And that means but, that. 
<laughs> that means that you see my hands, oh. Miss Nye. That means my hands can have your ankles like this. Okay. What? Go ahead. Let's go. <laughs> Look at the faces. <laughs> oh. I tell y'all every every week I risk it all for content, and Young James Boogie I'm sits here. Not agree. <laughs> I'm not with this. I don't know. I'm, I am not with this, Dominique. But you're definitely with anal play, though. I don't. No, I'm not, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the most single of singles niggas is always trying to. Miss Cleo, I will say this: the stop, most stop, single stop, of stop, single stop, niggas stop. is always stop. trying to protect his political connects. You stop. would be said political connect. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying. Look, look. I'm Who saying said political connect. Him. No. As single as he says he is, he's always trying to protect his political connect. And I'm married. I'm the married nigga risking it all. You know what I'm saying? For a hundred for a hundred and twenty-four episodes. hundred and twenty nine episodes. No, it's not one twenty nine. It's like one one fifteen. Okay. Well for all those episodes, you've been trying to tell everybody how much I want to get my booty played with <laughs> and how much I'm into anal and getting pegged. And then the one person who is able to denounce that, you like, She did. Uh, you, you just skip over that. But she because clearly wants to play with your cheeks and you won't let her, bro. And I think she you definitely should. wants to play, play with your cheeks, with the back of your head, and you keep denying. She knows it. That's why I don't together anymore. Bro, they just cheeks, bro. Why are you so. They're just cheeks. That doesn't make you gay, bro. Like, she wasn't even trying to go inside. She's, she's just not. fumbling she just to, them on the she outside. She just wants to grope your cheeks, bro. How about, how about this? How about this? What you can do is, because you're my partner, bro, just let Dominique play with your chicks and you tell me what it feels like and then I can go. Yeah. I've been married for a while, so, you know, what makes you think she has not played with her cheeks? Exactly. She's definitely touching the cheeks. Definitely have touched my cheeks. I Girls like to do it, too. Just like how you guys will randomly walk past us and just pop. No, 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 no. Have you, you ever been penetrated? That? No, I've, I've not done the penetration. No, I've not. But if she wants to grab a cheek, grab a cheek, bro. Have you ever seen Aaron Booty? Time out. Time out. <laughs> time out. Time out. Time out. I don't feel comfortable with you saying what you just said, bro. Bro. <laughs> I him? don't feel com- I'm I'm being I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't we have cameras, bro. We can stand up and turn around. I'm definitely you- not standing up turning yeah, around. Come on. Up, up, up. Yeah. No, I'm not disrespecting the uh the young Cleopatra. <laughs> No, oh no, no. Hey, turn around, Miss Nye. If you want to see my cheeks, you do, both of y'all. Miss Nye, if you want to see my cheeks, we can Show your schedule ass. that. Show your ass. Well, that's really what we should have done. We should have brought Bella, on Bella, one more yeah. gentleman and we should have did a, a booty rating contest. There's is, the booty. You gotta put the screen down. Ms. You gotta Bella. put the screen down. We're not getting no, a clear I'm view not. of the cheek. No, Miss Bella's married. Down. I will not disrespect her husband in that in that manner. That wasn't the, that wasn't the. Right. That was horrible. That was back booty. We didn't want to see the back booty. Yeah, exactly. No, I I wanted because he go ahead and like, show your cross dressing uh videos, bro. I ain't got to see. Oh. The narrative, narrative switcher, cross dressing, show booty. No, go to your, the narrative switcher. I told you. <laughs> no, no. So back to the question we're asking. The heart knows, Miss Nye. What's your heart know? Anything that could cause me death, as long as we're not gonna die <laughs> and That's no one's good. gonna die, I'm straight. Like I'll try anything once. If I don't like it, I'm probably not gonna try it again. But I'll try anything once. Just choke, not eat. Choke. No, none of this. No, five, no four, three, two, one. Not doing that. I do want to try the choking thing once. I've never, I've never tried that. No, I don't want to choke till I almost pass out. What's That's the nigga that played in Kill Bill? The dude who was actually Bill in real life. The nigga died in Vegas in a hotel. He hung himself by a belt while getting head, I believe, and he ended up dying for real. Ms. Yeah. Ms. That's why I would never play like that. I would yeah. try it once though, Miss Bella. Uh, hard no. What's the hard no? Mm. What you thinking about it? Yeah, because I don't really have a lot of things that I won't do. See, this is the thing with you, though. And I'm only going by the last part I heard. You might not have a lot of things you won't do. But from the last part, I don't think there are a lot of things you 
would do. No, that's not true. Mm. So you don't have a hard no. You're cool with anything. Well, I mean, like you said, I don't want to die either. What? Like, dying I don't like. Is any, I don't like any of y'all faces right now. Dying though, like you don't know you won't. You you're not gonna know you're gonna die unless you try it. No, well, no I don't want to try to like die. High risk, like high risk sex. Like I'm not gonna. I don't want to have sex on a balcony. And you're and I'm hanging off the balcony. I want, I'm gonna be on the balcony, but I don't want to be hanging off I the balcony. I definitely would hang off the balcony. There's nothing fun about that if I fall. Miss Cleo, do you know about the time I hung off the balcony at GLEC? I don't know okay, about that good. time. I'm glad you don't know. So I'll try. Uh, what she was doing on the balcony? I I so I was on the third floor. So how G, how how Gregory Lincoln was at the time we were in school. The school, there was a courtyard in the middle of school. So right. There was a young lady named Janaea Carmache that I was dating. And I, I was, know her. <laughs> I was showing out for Miss Janaea. She was light skinned. She fits my profile. Um, and Where's so I hung upside down off the side of the balcony, um, trying to impress the young lady. Yeah. Unbeknownst to me, the school was raggedy, so the railing probably was loose. And a white teacher happened to walk out at the time I was doing this and thought I was trying to commit suicide. <laughs> Matter of fact, Ms. Cleo, I think it was our homeroom teacher. What was our home te room teacher's name? It was that older white lady with the red hair. I forget her name. But oh, Ms. Ross. Was it Ms. Ross? No. What was her name? Ms. Ross? Whatever it was, she was the homeroom teacher. She ran up on me when I was in high school working at Randall's. And she cried when she saw me working at Randall's because her words were she was glad I was working and she was like, I thought you would be dead or in jail by now. And she started crying. And my partner, Jason, witnessed the whole conversation and started laughing. <laughs> so I was hanging off the balcony trying to impress the young lady I was talking to and uh, I had to do like two months of suicide counseling. My parents were <laughs> my parents were upset with me. <laughs> what was our counselor? It was a black lady, man. It wasn't it. So 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 this was the crazy part. Like I had to do, I had to do counseling with Miss Johnson, who was the principal at the time, who was Shannon's mm -hmm. mom. Yes, I had to do counseling with her, and the crazy part was, like. Miss Johnson and my parents were cool because I would hang out with Shannon. And um, I had to do, like, uh, welfare check counseling with, with the counselor and Miss Johnson for, like, two months. It was, That's it, crazy. it was embarrassing. But You were just like, I was just trying to impress a girl? I was just trying to impress Janaya. Tell him that? I talk, no, I couldn't tell him that, no. At that point in my dad's life, he wasn't a Christian like he is now. And his words would have been, So you trying to impress these broads? So, you know, I tried to, you know. I I, I was raised by toxic men. So, you know. Why are you toxic? Um, huh? wait, y'all didn't want to know my hard no? I'm getting to you. What's your hard no? I know. My hard no is domination that turns into humiliation speak on the queen i like domination what, what you talking about queen i had an experience once with someone that was experienced in time out time out, time out, time out. my nigga are you topless what yes. is going on? Can you, speak yes. Yes. Can you, you see the you, background that's him in the thundercat outfit i i, I know what he's doing keep speaking your truth miss cleo Oh my God. Like, I'm lying. Mm. Anyways, yeah, it would. It started off really amazing to experience that dominating and subservient freakiness, and then it just got went a little too, uh, uh, like 
they were doing too much. So I I need an example. I want to know what, what was it something that was said or was it the actual act? I, I think it's just like the feeling where you start to feel this nigga is crazy or this <laughs> So, so no, we definitely say nigga. I'm glad you said. Or really, I'll put it this way because he really he wasn't black, but it was. You know it was like, you say, I knew I was somewhere. It, it was. It was on some like they they are really demeaning a woman. Like it's it's deme it's about demeaning a woman versus he Caucasian. Yeah, he was white. Did it feel even worse because he was white? Maybe. Like was this like a feeling like like it was like, thinks I'm thing. a slave and he think I'm no. a slave? No, it was just like this nigga has issues. I call him nigga. This is how he this is how <laughs> this is how he lays them out. Yeah. I've 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 so I listened to a couple of podcasts. One of the podcasts I listen to is the Horrible Decisions Pod. I don't listen to it every <laughs> week. I listen to it like once a month. But then I also listened to Kinks with Kiki. So I didn't know like black people do BDSM like this. Like they're like furniture BDSMs where a nigga tell you to be a lamp, Cleo. So you'll stand in the corner like you're a lamp. And it's crazy to me. What is he doing while you're standing as a lamp? Eating a fucking sandwich from Jimmy John's watching TV. That's what he's doing. Living his life. No. <laughs> but you know what? Also, re- also, also, one hundred percent real shit, Miss Cleo. And um, uh, uh, I'm not gonna. Lie. I feel some kind of way when you call me Miss Cleo. Why? Like it's okay. It's okay when my students call me that because they don't know who Miss Cleo is. But I know who Miss Cleo is. Miss <laughs> Cleo. Yeah, just Ms. Call Ms. Me Cleo. Now. Ms. Right. Ms. But when all the when all the ass people know who she is, they're like, you can't call me. <laughs> but I can though. I'm gonna tell you why I can because I know who Miss Cleo is. Like the accomplishments you have in the Houston Ballet, you should be like an H Town legend. And you should oh, be treated as such. He's so sweet, though. No, you really should. Oh, he's sweet. He's sweet. What am I? You sour, nigga. You won't let her play with Bingo. your cheeks. And you or the world. single, nigga. Or the world. And you're out here telling the world about your meat and telling <laughs> girls you're going to meet them at their spots. You got the, and like, the, first. He always, he always blames his singledom in this arena on you. He's like, Dub wants me to be the single one and he's gonna play the married one. Like, that's how he tries to play it My off. My nigga, you know? like, play the married one. <laughs> I'm literally out here. I am literally risking it all for content. I dropped the pod called Too Much Tequila and I didn't even drop the entire conversation about right. Too Much Tequila. <laughs> I had someone on this screen asked me why I didn't drop all the content. No, I didn't ask you why. Stop. I said, where's the rest of no it? No one asked too. you to speak right now, okay? Whatever. No I, one I asked you for your input, it. okay? I flirt with Miss Naya once a week on this podcast. <laughs> and I will risk it all for content. If she tells me to come see, if the nipples get hard when it's cold, I will come. I'm whispering because the young, the, the wife is over there. Hey, hey, what's the, name of, what's the name of the podcast, bro? What's the, what's the name of the podcast, now man? Now let's begin the story. Uh, that time, motherfuckers. Uh, dub down, motherfuckers. H-Town's finest. 16 Shots Podcast. I'm lightning with the blam blam. See, let me tell y'all something about JB. I'll tell okay. you the three queens. Bug knows I'm a functioning alcoholic. Because... Cause. In the middle of our alcoholness, hold on, I'm talking about alcoholism. <laughs> in the middle of our echo, say it again, book. Alcoholism. There you go. Me and Young James Boogie, is there? Had a bullshit ass side job, working for a liquor distributor. <laughs> At this time in our, in me and JB's life, we delivered liquor. And we found out a loophole. If you break the bottle, you got to pay for it anyway. Come out to check. 
So, <laughs> Christ. At that point, we broke a bottle on accident and we said, fuck it, we're going to bust it down and we're going to sip while we deliver. And that turned into us just opening the bottle, sipping while we deliver. <laughs> and he capitalizes on my... Ac- Say it again, book. What is it? Alcoholism. There you go. He capitalizes on that. So, once every two weeks... I'm going to sip the whiskey or the tequila. Hey, man, what's the name of the podcast, man? Now let's begin the story. Uh, that time, motherfuckers. Uh, dub time, motherfuckers. H-Town's finest. 16 Shots Podcast. Stop lightning with the blam blam. Miss Bella, I heard y'all intro. I can fix it for you. It's whack. Six, six, six. Look, look, look. I'm, a, I'm a, it's, it's too much it's, laughing in the intro, Miss Bella. And the first fact, of all, the fact that the fact that it was done last minute. I can fix it though. Months I'm ago. telling you, so, yeah, I can, you can fix, fix it. it. I can fix it. Fix it and then send it to me. So I'm gonna tell you this while you're on the pod with us. Me and Bug had this conversation last pod that is not getting posted because it was trash. I had the conversation. No, my my what I said was this, Miss Bella. I said. If, what I said was if the let's talk about a podcast pops. You gonna pop one of them? Absolutely <laughs> not. Thank you, Miss Bella. Man, hold on. How you how you top of that man penis, man? Thank you, Miss Bella. What I said was if the we, we had that discussion. That's not it's 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 non negotiable. No time, time out. What's the young lady who had the elf shirt on? It and, don't matter. No, 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 no. I'm I'm asking a question. The young saying? lady who had the elf shirt on and her titties made the elf pop out. What's her name? Her, what's her stage yeah. name? And look, I, we get I don't to, recall who had on elf. You know who I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you get, stop talking, book. You know who I'm talking about, right? Get to she the was point on the pod that. with her sister. What's her name? Or what's her stage name? What's the name you can which, say? Which one? The one with she the wears, hair or the one with the braids? She wears glasses. She wears weave. What's her name? Oh, you talking about Nova? She wears weave. Don't do that. Am I allowed to pop Nova? No. Okay. So what I'm saying is, um, she wouldn't talk to you anyway. Why not? You know why. Oh, okay. So what I'm saying is, <clears throat> if the pod takes off, I said, if who pod? They, there's if the let's talk. No, if our pod take off, we take off, nigga. What I said was, if the let's talk about it pod takes off. I low key own rights to it because I published it, but I said because of my relationship friend wise with Miss Bella, I do the right thing. I give it all to her, and if she decides to give me whatever, she gives me whatever. If she doesn't, she doesn't. I don't care. All this shit is dropped on the twenty five thirty media. That's all I said. Bella. I don't know. So you want me to write you a check? I don't know what y'all. I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> I don't want you to write me a check. It's Bella. I don't know what y'all gonna do, man. But stop putting me in between it. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, you was po- <laughs> that's, that's, that's not even me. Attention that y'all have. Like, there's, no there's, there's no tension. There's no tension. There's, no there's tension. There's a friendship here, bro. This yeah. is a friendship that goes back to 17 year olds. What are you talking about, bro? How old were you when you met Cleopatra? Oh, I was like. What, 12, 13? What, what, how old were we? I think we were 12. Yeah. She had this like black, long hooded jacket she always wore. She didn't talk too much. Neither did you. Huh? <laughs> no. Neither I, did you. I had a persona though. I played football oh. and slap niggas. Why do women always be like, you said something about them, and like, it, it, they, they, they don't be like, yeah, I did that. They were like, neither did you. Well, I didn't explain it aggressively like that, but that's the truth. That's Art said that in the beginning when he was asking me. I said that he, when he said, am I toxic? I said, you really didn't say much. Miss Cleo you speaks the truth, no. Young James Boogie. And so, and he did. That, that you, she, you made a statement about her, and instead of her just... No, 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 no. no. Throughout this you know hour... What? Can I tell you something? There's so many times when we get into arguments, I'm like, damn, I wish Dub was here. Because you, you'd be like, I be telling him the same shit. Man, let me tell you something about JB, man. The entirety of my brotherhood, because it's more than a friendship. It's a brother, it's a brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Me, me and JB have. <clears throat> I slammed him before. 
Yes, you have slammed me before. We have had drunken arguments that did not come to fisticuffs yeah, because at the party, at the white people's party, when y'all went and fought each other. No, no, no. no. We Keep fought. Going. We fought each other. The white people party. No, stop interrupting. Uh, the only passion. person, <laughs> the only person that I have done physical harm to out of the clique is Jason. <laughs> That's the only person I've done physical harm to. Me and JB. Oh no. So so on some real shit. This is gonna be this is gonna be a, a moment right here, right? This right here. Oh, some real shit. Me and JB have spent. Me. So our click, our click is me, uh -huh. JB, Jason, and Kevin. That's our click. Mm -hmm. Everybody else don't count. No, everybody count, man. They count, but they don't count. You got Pookie. You got no, C no. Pookie, Pookie counts, but RRP. You know what I'm saying, Pookie. What I'm saying is, out of that four, we're divided, in a nice way. Yeah. Jason and Kevin, they've been partners since forever. Yeah. Me, me and Young James Boogie, we've been partners since we met at the Y. Yeah. So we roll that way. Also, I've, just to, just give the the listeners uh, listeners a backstory, I met. Jason, uh, Dub, and Kevin, my freshman summer of of college. Yeah, because we used to all go to Sherm and play ball. Yeah, and then we met again two three years later. Like I got, I got. So when, once I met JB, I got niggas I grew up with in the clock just from the tray that knew JB. So once I met JB and I was out somewhere with JB and I ran up on my boy Antho, aka the OG <laughs> from the tray, them Thomas boys. Yeah, and said Thomas, yeah. They knew they knew JB and they was like, nah, he he official. He won hundred. So me and JB have spent countless times together bullshitting. Like we spent birthdays chasing females all kind of shit together. I'm all about just single, but keep going. Me and JB have been like, we got $20 between the two of us and we busted down. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times we did that. Yeah. So that, he my nigga. With that being said, <laughs> I feel like our goal in life is to throw each other under the bus. <laughs> We think that's hilarious. It really is. Like we enjoy throwing each other under the bus. That's what we do. Like we've been doing this shit forever. Like we throw each other under the bus. You get in the car and laugh about that shit. Like drinking too much, man. Let's end the part now, bro. No, man. <laughs> Jesus, it's, that's what we do. We throw each other under the bus and get in the car after a night of throwing each other under the bus and laugh about it. And dare a nigga to say something to one of us. Because if a nigga say something sideways to book, he getting slapped. I'm like, okay, no. okay, okay. I'm, I'm rhyming with you. I'm rhyming with you. I'm right. I'm right with you. Okay, I'm right with you. What's the most pissed off you've been at me before in your life? I'm crying laughing, man. Yeah, I can't see that. But I got tears in my eyes. I don't know, bro. It's probably, I don't know. I probably was drunk. So I don't know. I'm thinking the time, the time. Man, okay, the most pissed off. Dub been at me. Um, ooh, so many times I pissed you off, though. You always <laughs> pissing somebody off. It's you, bro. The time. But see, time out, though. You pissing me off is not fair because I'm easily pissed off. So. Oh. And then Dub was my little brother, right? So. Yeah, because you were definitely older than me. Yeah, so not only is the little brother, but also he's easily pissed off. So. Miss Bella, are you older than me? You definitely older than me, Miss Bella. I am not older than you. Miss you Bella, you be... like 41. What are you talking about? Oh my God. Did we not graduate at the same time? How am I 41? You 41. You older than me. Ms. I'm not even 40. Know. Cleo, how old are you? I know you're not supposed to ask a queen her age. How old are you, Miss Cleo? It's surely cousin for everybody. How old are you, Miss Cleo? I'm 39. I'm 30. I'll be 40 in June. Miss Bella, how old are you? I'm 39. I'll be 40 in April. Ms. Naya, how old are you? I'm 40. 
Everybody on the screen is older than me except for young James Boogie. Miss Miss Naya, when is your birthday? November. Damn, I'm older than you by a couple of months. So everybody else is damn. I told my age at this point. Fuck. <laughs> you have been forty. You already forty. Old. Ain't nobody ask you how old I was. You know how old I am on the screen. It's you two people. Hold on yourself, bro. You it's, stop. it's two people on the screen who know how old I am. You and Young James Boogie. Stop it. Bro, Act bro. like you, you don't know. Stop it. Her titties out. You though. stop it. Her titties out. So at the end of the day, did you say her titties out? Yeah, for no reason. What? No, they not. And they are on the picture. Let's see. The, oh, I'm uh -huh. like, no. <laughs> Turn your camera on. What you got? What you got going on? You the only person that ain't got the camera on. Oh, Cleo. Because it was I'm doing, it was doing too much, so turn, I just had to turn come your camera in a different on. Way. Oh, oh, my bad. You probably, you probably can't. You know, you got some. Yeah. Cleo got her kimono on. I got some what? You got some shit going on. You on? You can't be a fan. You, you can't turn your fan. You, you, you fault. You, you, your camera. I got to look. I'm, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, man, because I got I gotta wake up in the morning, man. I got a, a tournament in the morning. Heads you ain't got no tournament, nigga. I do, nigga. No, you don't. I need to go though. Miss oh, Cleo, Miss Cleo, it was it was it was it was a pleasure having you on. Nice meeting you, night, and uh, you to you. You know, your name is my middle name, uh, but just I and A switch. My middle name is Nia. Miss so. Cleo, we will have the um. And nice meeting you, Miss Bella. We will hold have hold Ms. Williams on in the next. You too. Podcast. I'm waving, but you can't see me. <laughs> Yo, and Miss Nye, I would really love for y'all to be able to connect as Who? far as Miss Miss Cleo, Miss Nye, as far as the um the art piece. Yeah, we just got to do it next year, or I could send her a picture too. You can always send me a picture. Yeah, a that's picture. we uh link us up um contact wise though, y'all. But okay? when are you gonna commit to Miss Cleo? Oh my God! We got how been going on, man. Stop! I, stop it! Stop it! In the words of Young James Boogie, stop it, bro. No, you can't take my you can't take my phrases. What anymore. are you afraid of? I, no, I asked a question. What are you afraid of? Yeah, who said that's a good question? Who said that? Everybody. What are you afraid of? Everyone. I I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's the issue in our relationship. Oh, we got a relationship now. What you well, mean? Y'all been out of relationship. We, don't act like that. Don't act like that. I'm, I'm controlling this shit. So don't don't me. don't act like you was proud. You hit me up and you was like, "Hey, you 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 know Cleo? I, I can stop all this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You hit me up and you was like, <laughs> you know Cleo? And I was like, whoa, 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 why is this night going off my screen? I ain't through flowers, yeah, this night. I can stop all this shit, man. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. it. Stop it. Turn the it. turn the screens back on, bro. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get. I gotta go. Man, I gotta get more. Turn the screens back on, bro. Stop it. You got five minutes, book. Listen, I'll just say, book, books, books, not scared. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. That's not the issue. Okay, Miss Bella. She's we will talk to you later. Oh, so, Miss Bella, thing. this is what I need from you, Miss Bella. I need your let's talk about it, young ladies. To hop on a pod, next pod, so we can have a conversation about um <clears throat> the la the latest topic. I feel like y'all left me out on purpose. No, it wasn't intentional, honestly. I thought Boog would just bring you, but I thought, can't I thought, bring you. I thought you talked to him first. That's why I, I didn't. Why no, do you think she talked to me first? She I, talked to you first. I try not to talk to him. So. Whoa, which means you try not to talk to me? What is that about? <laughs> what is that about? What is that about? What you mean you try not to talk to me? What, what is that about? I'm only, geez, I'm only kidding. No, I just, I don't know. I had to send it to you because the last time you sent it to me. So I just figured you guys talk, but I, I, maybe I you don't talk. I assume y'all left me out because I'm toxic as fuck. Why would, I, why would I be in the storm with titties? You're not as toxic as you think. Not about yourself, man. Why would I be in the storm? I think you just like to say you toxic because you ain't really seen toxic. Yeah, he's toxic. No, 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 no. He's toxic. He's very toxic. I got some okay. dates. I, I got some dates for you. Okay, that's what he's saying. For me or her? Not you, nigga. I'm saying that's what he's saying. He say he's toxic. 
I'm single though. Why? Why you got that for me? Oh, you single once she once she log out. I, I see what you did there, bro. <laughs> no, I see exactly what you did there. You single once she log out. Yeah, I saw that, bro. No, don't, don't. I I'm saw that. Ish. All of a sudden, he was single once she leave. That's a single patient. Miss Naya, Miss Naya. I asked her on the on the pod, bro. The Naya bands. Are you listening? I'm, I'm always listening. Yeah. I, I'm married, but you know. I risk it all for you, okay? You six foot long hair. I'll risk it all for you. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, let, me, let, me, let me be honest, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. Both let's be real. Me. Once you, when, when, once your lady friend leaves, let's be real. Because my wife can hear me. I'm in the next room. So you be real. Since yeah. your young lady friend is, is can't hear you anymore. Be real. So I told I, well, I'm, I'm so I'm so real that it's real of them. You're I'm not saying. real, my nigga, because you talking this cash money shit. Once your political once your political connect is not on it's not on the pot. Go ahead though. You, see what I'm saying? Anyway, I told Miss Nye, I said, Miss Nye, when you on your show or you on your live or when you do, you put a certain face on. When you get on our pod, you be all professional and you know. I need you to be ratcheting on our shit too. You want no truth, yeah. my nigga? I feel like when she is not on our pod, when she doing her little lives, yeah, I yeah. Like she, about. I really feel like she's talking to me. So you know, I, I did hit the light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you really go ask her, I'd be hitting like on all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. You are welcome. By the way, I gotta sleep, man. I gotta this sleep. is me risking it all, my nigga. While you. You know, as soon as soon as your little female leave, all of a sudden you slick. Now you you know what I'm talking about. You talking real slick. I feel like I, feel like I get so many likes and follows just based off of the random stuff that y'all. It say. don't matter. Just make sure you see AR Dub. When you see AR Dub hit the like, you know what's up. <laughs> People take it and they're like, "Oh, this must be a great IG to follow because AR Dub." <laughs> <laughs> but on some real shit, Miss Naya. So what's up? What's I get new followers because Miss Naya on some real shit. What's up on my painting though? What was I painting? Why you was... supposed to be oh, doing the oh, the Egyptian cut. painting, Seth or whatever. Like oh, I need said? you to be in your oh, array she... painting the painting for me so I can pay for it. You say it's King done. Tut. King oh, Tut. It's done. Say. Where it's at? No, it's not King Tut. It's Seth. But if you got King Tut, let me see where it's at. I, I didn't. I haven't. I, um, I have special orders, so like this one, I'm finishing. What I'll is that? What, what is that right there? What is that? It's a different pop. But that's a oh. special order. Oh, I had a special order too. Miss Naya. Exactly. He, he Naya. has a special order. Miss Naya. Fuck JB special order. My <laughs> special order is what's priority. Okay? <laughs> and I prepaid. <laughs> he prepaid. I for it. I can't. I can't. What did that. he? Pre how did he prepay? He sent me money. Oh. We need a cash app. You didn't tell me how much I had to send. I didn't. You never said what size. I don't care, exactly. Miss Miss Naya. You you sent you tell. This is how this works. Did I DM you today? Yes or no? You did. Bet. DM me the price. Okay. And we'll, we'll go from there. Wait, I'm out, man. If I'm you out, send, if you send a little me. extra in the DM, you might get a little extra back. Okay. Do you see this thing? You toxic, bro. Who me? It's the it's the alcohol. I think the alcohol brings on a different toxicity Only than it is probably. If I normal. was still in Houston, I would just pull up. But whatever, <laughs> Miss Bella, I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys. Good night, y'all. Have a nice <laughs> night. Good night. <laughs>